Hello, welcome to Nail by Michael Henry. I'm your manicurist, Michael Henry. And today, our client is Scott Evans. He's an actor. He is a pickleball player. <laughs> and he told me today that he bruised his fingers. Welcome to the salon, Scott. Hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I mean, I, clearly I have nothing interesting about myself. I should have given you more facts. But before we get started, let's acknowledge our sponsor. BetterHelp. I love therapy. Seeing a licensed therapist has personally helped me find inner calm in my life, especially when it comes to dating men, intimacy with men, and tolerating men. So just go to their website, betterhelp.com slash Michael Henry, answer a few questions, and BetterHelp will match you with a professional, usually within 48 hours, who has years of experience helping people with struggles just like yours and mine. Magic. Amazing. All right, are you ready to have your fingers done something Yeah, I too? guess so, let's do it. Let's go for it. When is the last time you told somebody, you know what, shut the f up. I actually think shut sh up does more damage or than the f meaning than the f just being like, Michael, shut up. Like telling so you don't have to meaning. shut up is like, woo, you just tell me to shut up? So you don't think you have meaningful fucks? Uh, no, I don't. I like that. Do you like clowns? Uh, I don't mind clowns. I think people have such a phobia of clowns or they'll, they'll be like, it'll be like their thing. And it's like, you know, if you were into turtles when you're a kid, you don't need to be into turtles when you're 40. Is that so mean? No, I mean, you're anti-turtle. <gasps> well, I don't, I, I mean, not necessarily turtles. Did you know that there's a difference between a turtle and a tortoise? Uh, besides the name? Yeah. Well, oh, interesting. Do you know what the difference is? I know. Paul has a tortoise and he doesn't have a turtle. Oh, and he doesn't like when you say he has a turtle? When I do, he says, Correct. shut the fuck up. <laughs> shut the fuck up, it's a tortoise. Mm -hmm. Do you remember your first nightmare? I have very vivid, vivid dreams. And uh, yeah, I had bad dreams growing up. Not anymore? Not quite. Um, I do, but I just kind of wake up and I'm like, man, that's kind of that was a better trip. than life. Yeah, yeah, what a, what a dream. I take naps every day for naps. hours. Love naps. And I always say people that do shrooms or hard drugs, have you ever tried taking a nap? Whenever I nap, the I have the craziest trippy dreams. Like on mushrooms? I'm telling people. It's or just said, after you Instead done. of doing drugs, take naps. Oh, I do both. That's why your dreams are vivid. True. Are you on a medication? What's your favorite condiment? I guess mayonnaise. Oh, you're a mayo girl. I like love mayo. And it's like, and I feel like kind of, it's become a thing where like, I kind of am embarrassed to love mayo. Like, well, I like putting it on things. And as much as I want to put on a sandwich, yeah. I, I, I don't. I've been, um, I'm alone. I've been shamed over my love of mayo, but I haven't been shamed over like scat. True, yeah. Gays will, gays will shame mayo, but they the will craziest not shame thing. scat. I'm not a ketchup person. Occasionally I'll have some ketchup, but like ketchup doesn't do it for me. So do you put mayo on your fries? Sometimes. Are you a dip girl? Yeah. yeah. What, what? Dips. Dip? Yeah. Anything, anything, dip, anything. I love, soup is my favorite food. So like anything that's just, uh... <laughs> Is that comparable? I don't think so. Yeah, hey, it's a whole, it's, you know what? It's a subgenre. Yeah, of dip. A so dip. A warm dip that you eat with a spoon? I was in Seattle and I dipped fries in chowder. There you go. What is tact? Do you have it? I have it. Do I always practice? Do I always use it? Do I always put it into practice? Probably not, but oh, only, only um, in a calculated way. Yeah. So would you say if um, somebody ghosted me and I went to their home because I found their address and I found their social security number and I toilet papered their home. Is that tactless? Um, I think that's good detective skills. When you see a man with long fingers, what's your first thought? I love hands. I'm like a hand guy. I don't know what it is, but like I know when I like a set of hands. Mm. Um, but long fingers uh, is something, and not even on, just on guys, <laughs> on girls too. I'll be like watching a movie. I'll be like, oh, do you see his fingers? So you're, you're finger thoughtful. Uh, yeah, I, I, I really, I- You're finger I, forward. Uh, fi finger observant. I, I got it. Yeah, and I- But it's, it's not, you don't sound to be hot for it. No, I'm not into it, but, but I always turn it around and I'm just like, I bet they would play the piano incredibly. The piano is what I call my hole. Have you ever choked on something? Yes. Have you ever- oh. <laughs> When I sleep, I'm a, I'm a mouth open, drool kind of making noise. I snore, and so I think I've woken myself up choking a lot. Sleep apnea. 
I don't know that it's that. I don't think my, I actually, I, I watch a lot of, a lot of videos a lot of the time where I'm like, do I have this? And right. that's a, it's kind of a, a new that's one. That's something you've checked um, off. Yeah, and I just like, how do you, how do you check that? They're like, well, if you're, if you stop breathing for like seconds at a time at night, I'm like, I how don't. I'm supposed to know that. I don't know if I do. I have had people told me that it sounded like I died in my sleep. Oh, well then maybe you have it. I have a what I'm supposed to do about it. Do you have a safe space for gas? Um, not always. So sometimes you need to break wind in uncomfortable places. Yeah, and there'll be times in bed where I, you know you think somebody's asleep, and then all of a sudden they'll shift, and you're like, Are they, they heard awake? me fart, or they smelled it, like something horrible. I fart anywhere, everywhere. All I, at once. I wish I yeah, people like that. And the thing is, when other people do it, I don't mind. I'm like, I good for you. Who the fuck cares? I think it's a I just have, building. I just wish there was a way to know what it was gonna be. Not necessarily sound, but like, is it gonna be like, is this one that I'm not gonna wanna do in front of people? What scares you more? Being stranded in the middle of the ocean, lost in space, or in a dark room with just me? That scares me the least, although I am afraid of the dark and I'm claustrophobic. So it depends how big the room is and how dark it is. I love that. <laughs> What's your biggest secret? Uh, well, if I told you, then it wouldn't be um, a secret. A secret. But I won't tell. These are cameras aren't on. Um, there's rarely a night that goes by that I don't have some sort of midnighty type snack. Like, but like, it's not a snack. It'll be like a. It'll be a large pizza. Be bad. Yeah, and it'll be like hidden too, and I won't tell anyone. Yeah. I share everything with everybody. That's why I don't hold on my farts. <laughs> when is the last time you knew the right decision to make, but still made the wrong one? Uh, often, you, you often I make wrong decisions. Do you really? But I'm aware of it. It's like I know what decision do I you should learn? make. But yeah, I'll, I'll learn from mistakes. Or I'll learn from other people's mistakes. Do you really? I try to. I haven't done my taxes in three you. years. Are you clairvoyant? An ex of mine that I just recently heard is now saying that he's clairvoyant. <sighs> Interesting. Dodge so if you dated a clairvoyant, shouldn't they know if this is going to work out or not? I think they only recently discovered their skill. So this is something that happens in your 30s. Uh, he might be in the 50s now. Well, there we go. That's a real late in life clairvoyant. I know, he just one day re figured it out. One Pandemic. day he, one day he woke up and was like, He's I a, sense a virus coming. Did I coming. just talk? Mary fuck kill. Pinto beans, lima beans, or flick my bean? Uh, I will kill lima? I will marry Pinto and I guess I'll fuck the flick bean. Thank you. What are your thoughts on trauma bonding? I think it's important. I think I've had some things in my life that stuff that I didn't realize was trauma that eventually you figure out it, it, it is through other people and then you start and then I think the trauma bonding is what's really important because you learn a lot about yourself and about your trauma. So you're bonding with other people who cannot fart around others? Sure. Are you a winker? I can. I think I'm a very good winker. I have very good control over my eyes. Like I can, you know, just do that like broken doll type thing. You could really change the tune of some interaction. Like if you're getting um, arrested and the police officer has his hands around your hands, arresting yeah. you and he goes. That's, I'm like, okay. I'm gonna be okay. Put me in solitary, Yeah, I Daddy. can take this. Where are we going? Yeah, where are we going? Can what you do precinct? It qu quicker? Faster? <laughs> I love that. What's the best way to say, excuse me? Probably some sort of, like, oh God, excuse me. So really little, like, excuse little, me. little, little sassy. Oh, excuse me. Oh yeah, I love holding the door for people, and if they just walk right on by, don't even look at me, don't say anything. Well, excuse me, your highness, or pardon me. Excuse, Excuse me? me, your highness is a favorite. Although I've gotten bad reaction one time from a lady. There we go. Yeah. We're wrapping up. This is a very um, gorgeous interpretation of what I think fingers should look like on an adult male. Yeah, I feel like um, this is like uh, pre-goth era Jojo Siwa. That's what I was saying. Yeah. But before we say goodbye, let's acknowledge our sponsor one more time. If you're ready to get started on your healing journey, let BetterHelp connect you to a therapist who can support you, all from the comfort of your own home. Just go to betterhelp.com slash michaelhenry or choose Michael Henry upon sign up and enjoy a special discount on your first month. That, that's our time here today. Great. Thank you, Scott, you're an angel. And until next time, please, just let Scott fart in peace. 
Don't, don't ask him. I know, and I don't like not having control. I can control. What? I have amazing anal control. Over the smell? I know when it is going to. So I know. I think I must be have like formal trials with trauma or something. Current trauma. Oh. All trauma. 